What's up everyone? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. Today I'm going to talk about the difference between spores and CFU or colony forming units. So I'm about to start my 2023 breeding project and I'm going to be doing a brand new technique that I have been thinking about for a few years now and I finally have the time to dive deep into uh, micro well breeding. So this breeding series is gonna be available soon on YouTube once I'm done. One of the important factors of using this technique is understanding the difference between a single spore and a colony forming unit. In my previous videos using serial dilutions to isolate haploids, there wasn't a way to verify the viability of the spores that were being used. So I'm going to be doing a shortcut which will trim off about seven to 10 days in my breeding process. And that is going to require the use of a microscope. I'm still going to do my serial dilutions to get down to a single spore, however, doing this new technique you might inoculate a few spores onto petri dishes and they won't germinate so the biggest difference between a spore and a cfu is that spores can be inert and a cfu is a colony forming unit which is either a viable spore or a piece of mycelium so if you're cloning mushrooms and you're cutting a piece of tissue onto a petri dish that is one cfu or for example on this dish which is contaminated with yeast each one of these colonies started from a single cfu however there could have been many 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 spores on this petri dish that were not viable and they didn't grow now i'm stressing this because when i'm doing my next breeding technique it's very important to understand the viability of the spores that you're going to run through this process so if you have fresh spores that you just put onto a petri dish like this print here it's going to work much better because the percentage of single spores to cfu is going to be much higher if you were out in the wilderness and you made a spore print on a piece of foil and then mailed it to yourself and didn't get around to it until a year later then this process might not be as effective because you are going to be isolating single spores that might not be viable and then you'll be wasting wells in your micro well plate that could otherwise be viable spores so if you have an older spore print i recommend using a swab or um, diluting that spore and then just putting it across a petri dish using a plate spreader you might get better results that way but this is a preliminary video to our 2023 breeding project I'm going to be running uh, black poplar mushrooms or piapinos through the system so that we can get a new strain for this upcoming season it's one of my favorite mushrooms I know that there's a few different phenotypes floating around. We have our giant Piapino, which produces pretty massive flushes. And then the one that's on our Etsy is the Pinset Popper, which I bred two years back, which I really like that one. It gives you nice canopies, but I'm looking for a little short, squattier one for some chefs that are going to be using our mushrooms next season. And I wanna have more variety of different types of piapino it's one of my favorite and some people want to you know have that short plump mushroom so they can stuff it up with some some sauce or uh, dips and stuffing that mushroom and oh it tastes really good with that nuttiness to it so anyway I'm gonna be running the piapino through this breeding project and I wanted to make sure that everyone understood the difference between a CFU and a single spore isolate so give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this explanation. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos and my deep dive into our new breeding technique. And um, comment if you have any questions, 
this, uh, this is just a preliminary video, so it'll be on the playlist. And I hope you guys will continue watching our content. Um, it's gonna be a very exciting year ahead. We're doing our one-on-one -on -one mushroom uh, experience or one-on-one -on -one mushroom boot camp. So check that out on our website. We've still got dates all summer long and I'm looking forward to uh, expanding our fruiting rooms this year so we'll be able to provide more mushrooms to everyone here in Denver. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time, much love.